Hello gamers, this is your host, Assassin Sensei, creator of Assassin Sensei Interactive Magazine, bringing to you today the Assassin's Creed Revelation Beta Tester. If you are an Xbox 360 gamer, stay tuned, because although the buttons are slightly different, the method is the same one. If you're not a PS3 Plus member, nor do you have a new play membership, or if you do but you haven't received your code, please hang in there because starting the 8th of September all PS3 gamers will be allowed into the beta tester. For this episode of Assassin's Creed Revelation beta tester I will talk to you about the basic functions. Let's be honest, how many times have you bought something and went straight to the product without reading the instructions only to find out later on on that the answer of all your questions is in the instruction paper. This is the same situation. If you are not familiarized with the way your remote control works in regards to the game, you will be running around like a chicken with its head cut off. I will admit that Assassin's Creed Brotherhood's veteran will find similarities in the majority of the functions. However, Ubisoft has thrown in a few surprising updates that are very important to know. The first and most basic buttons are the arrow pad. This allows you to switch back and forth between targets when there is more than one available. The select button, if pressed during a gameplay, allows you to view all the players that are in the same lobby as you. The start button will open a menu screen that we will get more in depth later on. The left joystick allows your character to move around in any direction. When pushed, it activates the contextual camera, meaning that it will send to the view to the front of your character regardless of where it is at the moment. The right joystick, however, lets you look around as if your character was moving its head. Like the previous joystick, if it is pressed, it will activate the contextual camera. The L1 button, located at the top left side of your remote control, is used to aim in or lock an opponent, whether it is your target or your pursuer. Right underneath that is the L2 button that is used to activate the ability 2 that you have chosen in your profile setting, which we will get more in depth later on. On the right side of the remote control, you will also find the R1 button which is used to activate the high profile that allows you to run, shove, and climb. Underneath that is the R2 button that activates the ability 2 that you have chosen in your profile setting. The button pad is where Ubisoft plays a little with us, but bear with me and you will soon get, uh, get used to every button available. The triangle button is used to taunt another player to revive a stunned player in your team and to respawn after being stunned or killed. The circle button is used to gently push anyone aside to shove and also to stun. The X button is to walk a bit faster, to sprint, to climb and also to jump. Finally, and I'm sure this is the button you will constantly use, the square button which is used to execute an assassination. Please take note that some of these features may be used with a combination of these buttons. For example, to climb, you must hold down the R1, which is the high profile button, the X button to climb, and the left joystick to indicate the direction you wish to go. You may also voluntarily combine these buttons at will if you feel the need. For example, you can walk forward by pressing the left joystick up while looking to the side by pressing the right joystick to either side and gently push the civilians by pressing the circle button. So taking for granted that you have watched thus far and you are familiarized with the basic fu functions of your PlayStation 3 remote control, the next step is to know what to look at in your screen. Just like traffic signs are important as you drive on a road to get to your destination, 
everything provided for you on your screen is just as important as getting your first assassination. Just like in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, the first thing we may notice is the radar. It indicates the direction of your target or targets and how far or close it is. The more it is filled with the blue color, the closer your target is to you. It can also tell you whether your target is at a higher or lower level as you are. As a defense advisor, it can also reveal your pursuer's direction. The radar is located in the very center of your screen on the bottom side. This feature is available depending on your choice of game mode. On the top left side of your screen, you will find the player info. This section will tell you your current scoring position amongst others in the lobby, the number of pursuers you have after you, and the chase status bar if you're being chased. On the top uh, on the top right side of the screen, however, the chase status bar indicates how far or close you are from a target you have uh, in initiated a chase with. Uh, you will also find the name, position, and persona of your target. If you have more than one target, these will also be displayed with a smaller avatar as a secondary target. One of the most innovating updates from Ubisoft is the approach meter status bar. It is no longer a question of locating your target, locking, and killing. Now you must unlock and wait for the approach meter status bar to reach to the top to get that incognito assassination. While the messaging system is exactly the same as Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, you may notice that Abstergo's agent speaker has changed. Although we have never seen her, the voice provided by Ubisoft will only make your mind wander to places it probably shouldn't be. At the bottom left side of your screen, you will find your abilities, perks, and bonuses that you have chosen with your profile setting in the profile menu. This is a good thing to constantly look at as it wouldn't be the first time nor the last time that I have tried to throw something I didn't really have. In the center of your screen at the top side, you will find the timer as you would in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. However, Assassin's Creed Revelation has added the team score and position as well as the game mode you're currently playing. Last but not least, in the left center of your screen, when you press the select button, you will be able to see the player list. This feature is, is for a brief moment as it displays all the participants in the current lobby, the position, and all the scores. Well, gamers, assassins, my friends, this concludes the first episode of Assassin's Creed Revelations Beta Tester, which is titled Basic Function. To give you a heads up for the next episode, I will personally analyze each available beta multiplayer templar and share with you my personal thoughts as well as their unique clothing, weapons, taunting comments, and killing animation. I hope you have enjoyed this. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and share. See you soon.